Let's take a look at the difference in the boiling point for NH3 and PH3. So first off, this nitrogen and this phosphorus atom, they're in the same group on the periodic table. And we have the same Lewis structure, the same Lewis structure and the same molecular geometry for both NH3 and PH3. So the big difference though, is the electronegativity of the nitrogen compared to the phosphorus. Let's take a look at the periodic table. So here's nitrogen at 3.04, right below it, phosphorus, 2.19. Nitrogen is much more electronegative. Let's pull these out. So we can see that nitrogen is more electronegative than hydrogen. That means that we're gonna have a polar molecule. The atoms in these bonds right here, they're not gonna be shared equally. They're gonna spend more time with the nitrogen. And you can kind of think of it this way. So here's our nitrogen molecule, the blue, that's the nitrogen, white are the hydrogens. And you can see how we have the red on the top and the blue on the bottom. The red is more negative, the blue is more positive. That's why this is a polar molecule. If we look at pH3, you can see there's not as big of a difference. There's a slight difference in color, but not quite as big. What all this means is that polar molecules, they're attracted to each other because they have the negative and the positive side. Ammonia, that's gonna have much more attraction because of the difference in electronegativity. For the pH3, we have that 2.20 for hydrogen and the 2.19 for phosphorus. So there's really very, very little difference in electronegativity. So the pH3 molecules are really not gonna be attracted to each other due to the polarity difference. Ammonia here, that boils at negative 33.3, where pH3, negative 87.7. This is a very low temperature. So pH3 has a much lower boiling point. You could also say that NH3 has a higher boiling point than pH3. This is Dr. B looking at the boiling point for NH3 and pH3. Thanks for watching.